Hello, silly moustache here. Um, a little while ago on a guitar forum, uh, somebody wrote a, obviously a tongue-in-cheek uh, thread um, saying that um, he needed to put some things right about the terms of um, and the names of certain things. Um, for instance, he said that is not a plectrum, it is a pick. Well, really? Um, this is, I call it a pick, we talk about flat picking and things, um, but uh, when I first started playing we used the term plectrum and that had been used for quite a few decades in Europe and around. Plectrum is the Latin word from the Greek word and a pick is something sharp for both ends that you break up concrete or compacted soil with. So, you know, it's lost in translation somewhere. And also another thing he mentioned was, or somebody else mentioned, because everybody jumped in on this, the peculiarities between American English and everybody else's English. Um, and um, it was mentioned, uh, um, pick guards were mentioned pick guard or scratch plate. When I was first starting to play guitar in the late 60s, uh, we talked about scratch plates. So let me ask you something. Here it is, a pick guard stroke scratch plate. A pick guard, is it guarding against a pick? If you're gonna play, are you really going to hit that? When I clean my guitars and polish them, as I do, I often find little marks on here, but I know it's not coming from the bit pick. If you're hitting guitar so badly that you're hitting the pick, this must be a problem with technique, surely. But I do find, as I say when I clean them, um, that there are little marks on them and I've realised that they come from the fingernails on the fingers that I don't use. And sometimes I can hear the click, which was also bad technique, frankly. But it is a plate to guard against scratching, not a plate against picks. But I want to talk about pick guards more seriously. Um, this is one of my Collings dreads and I love it dearly and that's a pretty standard sort of um, pick guard for a dreadnought I think, isn't it? Yeah. And then after a while I got my triple O which had a very very similar one, a very little bit shorter. I still think it's a bit too big for a triple O. Yeah. And then after a while um, as recently as 2019, November 2019, I bought myself an Eastman, a lovely Eastman E20P, which I've spoken about and went on about, and it came with this pick guard on it, which was a bit boring, and it's got a couple of forks on it, but okay, did the job. And then, and then, and then, and then, last October, I got my Eastman E4000, this beautiful guitar, full of blinginess, but also full of music. I love this thing to bits, but it didn't have a pick guard. So I asked around on the Eastman forum and other places, and I was directed towards Halter Pick Guards in the States. And a, I don't know whether the gentleman is called Taylor Mullins or Taylor and money or something so forgive me Taylor if I've made that mistake um, but he sent me a pit guard unfortunately it was um, I think for um, an OM or something like that there was a little um, bit of confusion there and um, and so anyway he sent me a second one he sent me a second one and this is it and I put this on recently I've made a video which I haven't yet uh, put on YouTube but I will and I think that is absolutely beautiful minimal about the right proportions and things doesn't damp too much but it's it's lovely and I asked him if he wanted the other one returned and he didn't say that he did he didn't say he didn't he didn't say he did 
Um, and so I kept that, and after I'd fitted that, I had another look at my O, my size O, my E20P, and I started experimenting with the old one, and I started cutting it down with a pair of scissors, no less. And um, it's worked out rather nicely. So there we are. And so um, this guitar, which did come with a bit, has now got this lovely halter pickguard on it, as has my double O. Now, I am not a complete stranger to fitting pickguards. I fit a pick, fitted a pickguard to a friend's bourgeois once upon a time. It's bourgeois OMS, which is a funny name for a triple O, but there we go. And, um, and I also, when I got my Martin 12 string, it had a black, I hate black pickups, uh, pickups, pick guards, uh, scratch blades. Um, but I, I got this, I think from John Brevan, and I don't think he, he does them anymore. But that was a perfectly nice one, a bit more rounded than usual, but mm, that's fine. Okay, so there we are. So it seems to me that if you've got a set, big one, triple O, double O, and O. They should all have pick guards. Do you use a pick on a guitar like this? Well, it was never really designed for picks. not a rhythm machine that's all I'm saying so there we are I'm a happy bunny now and um, remember if you want a really nice pick guard try halter pick guards that's it I'm done for now I made a few um, videos today because I not do, didn't do a concert less yesterday and I hope you found that useful if you have been thanks for watching bye